Welcome to yet another video of BIM Technologies in Revit MEP. So in this episode we are going to learn about how to add li lighting fixtures, how to create switch systems and also we will learn how to create lighting schedules. So let's go and see how we can do that. So here we in the screen you can see there is a model over here with four walls over here and if I go to the 3D view of it I would see that there is a ceiling which is inserted in this model so the height of this wall needed to be uh, raised down let's say I take it down to level 1 so here you can see there is a ceiling and there is a wall so we are going to insert some lighting fixtures for that we have to go to the lighting plan of this particular building so you go to the zero lighting plan so in the lighting plan you will not be seeing the ceiling because we will be using ceiling to add the lighting fixtures for that you have to go to the ceiling plan so here you can see the ceiling placed and the ceiling is a compound ceiling a grid ceiling with 600 meters and 600 millimeters now let's see how we start with the lighting fixture so go to the systems go to the electrical drop down and we have this lighting fixtures click on the lighting fixtures and then load the family so here in the Autodesk library we have the lighting folder here go to the lighting folder go to the MEP folder and here we have the internal lighting so some of the lightings are ceiling lights so you can take the ceiling lights flat round and linear boxes here for example so the moment you load it now you can place the slides to different locations so you have the round that say you need to have you need to place a hundred watt to thirty volts so you can have place on face so here is the light that you want to place at various grid points and then so this is how the lights are placed and if you look into the lighting fixtures they have the properties over here go to the edit type and you can see the load classification is given over here so it says lighting 12 unit you can change the load classification to lighting and the demand factor can be changed as per the requirement similarly the apparent load the assembly code and the lamp you can take the lamp a 19 the ballast voltage as 230 volt and then other things that you can do is the photometric editing so you have this initial color you can change the initial color you can change the light loss factor the initial intensity and almost all the photometric values you can change from the photometric properties so once you are done you need to add the lighting switch so for the lighting switch you need to go to the light devices here then you can put the lighting switch click here and then you can have the lighting switch so you can have three-way lighting switch so you have a lighting switch here so you can place the lighting switch at the location that you want to have so let's say you have the lighting switch here so now you have the lighting switch now you have this lighting switch as 230 volt this is basically if you look into the it's also a 230 volt ceiling light so if you want to create a circuit between these three lights so you click on it and then you can have a power circuit and you can convert it to a wire and then if you want to add the if you want to add the symbols over here for the hot conductors so what you need to do is to get the symbol you need to go to the lighting settings that we have done earlier so you have got the electrical settings here and here in the wiring you can have the hot tick marks over here so you can take long tick marks ground tick marks short wire tick box so the moment you do you can see you can add so in order to s see the tick marks you need to look into it if whether the tick marks will be available if it is not available that's fine so you can have different types of uh, so let me go to the electrical setting again because uh, I cannot see the tick marks so let me go 
so here we have the neutral tick marks slanted tick marks show tick marks so you have to go with the home runs so anyway so here you can create this uh, switch also you can you can select this and you can also select the panel so we don't have a panel over here you can edit the circuit by removing any one of the light so if you want to select a panel or you want to remove any light from the circuit it can be removed similarly if you want to create a switch system of this one two and three you can so you these are all switches over here go to the power system you can take a 230 volt and then this can be created and converted into an arc wire so this light can also be connected to the switches so let's say this three lights can be connected to switches you can select this uh, select a switch and you have to find out the switch that is compatible to this particular so you have a tab key and then edit switch system and you have to select the switch which is compatible to this particular switch system so with this uh, we can also have let's say if i want to have a switch for these lights so i can go and load the family over here insert uh, load family and here let's say if i wanted to have the switches i have to go to the electrical settings uh, the folders that is having electrical uh, let me go to the electrical here mep information and communication security so they were all building controls are here so in the connectors you have the lighting fixtures so you have the all the lighting fixtures over here so I'm, I'm going to put the electrical switches electrical power so in the terminals I would be having switched views so there are different folders in which you need to search for the lighting switch distribution again there will be a lighting appliances junction board and uh, other thing that you have let us search so we go to the electrical switch over here so we have a lighting switch not electrical switch a lighting switch and uh, here we load the family and under the terminals folder here we can see that there is one for there is one family called lighting switch so you can load this lighting switch and place it to the location where you want the switch to be there let's say we have this lighting switch so I'm deleting this all three of them so this lighting switch is a two-way lighting switch 230 volt so now I can connect the switch this so a switch system is created so so you have seen that how the lighting can be done so let's say we, we're adding more switches and more lights so I'm adding all these three lights to copying them and it's one two three and four let's say if I wanted to have all these into a circuit so I can select them and create a power circuit over here convert it into a wire similarly if the if there is a switch that I want to add to it so right click create similar and I add a switch here and if I wanted to add this add a switch system to it so I can select them one two three four five and six and then I have a switch option here and then I can select the switch and add it to it so with this I can see that my power system as well as the switch system is created in Revit MEP thank you for watching this video hope you have liked this video please like and subscribe Thank you.